Hello everybody, good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope y'all can hear me. I can hear this air, but it's loud. Happy Thursday, y'all. I'm off today, so you know your girl is feeling great, 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 great on this Thursday. Y'all, I really hate how this thing hell, you know, we ain't even gonna go there. Stay focused, Brittany. Stay focused. <laughs> Good morning. I hope y'all having a great morning. I am Brittany Marie King. I am just here to encourage y'all for today and tell you the story. You know, I'm up. I just had to drop my kids off at school. Um, it was a some one of my daughters is going to summer school because. I think she didn't make it on the test. My other daughter is not sure. I don't know if it's summer school. I think it's like a summer program or something. So she not even sure because we had got some misinformation. But anyway, when I pulled up to the school, it was a lot of kids out there. Um, but what stood out to me just watching the boys and the girls, I seen a couple out there like, you know, you could just tell they a couple because they was all over each other. And I seen another couple sitting in the car. And like I say, you could tell they a couple because they was all over each other. And it just sparked some in me because it just lit a fire. Because I know exactly what that is. I know exactly like when I seen it, all I seen was danger stop no you know i prayed that i could have went over there and just said man y'all know like stop dating stop this because but you know they're not my kids so i cannot tell them i already told my kids you know my girls there will be no dating nobody <laughs> why are you in the house with me you know there will be no dating while you're in the house with me not in kid point as long as i'm taking care of you let's clear it up there will be no dating once you're able to get a job and start paying some bills you are free to date who you like but i also encourage them to um really focus on themselves. really focus on what they want to do in life really because i tell them all the time boys are not going anywhere they are not going anywhere they not the right person gonna be out there he waiting on you to prepare yourself they not going anywhere and it's just so hurtful because i know i'm telling anybody who has children that's young that's not even at teenage age. My kids, my oldest daughter in the middle, they, they, my oldest is 15, other than 13, other than 12. So they're at that age where they seeing everything. They think they know everything. They, they want to, you know, they asking questions when they see stuff. And, you know, they always ask us about gay and lesbianism and all that stuff, lesbians and all that stuff, because that's what they're around. That's what they're seeing. And every time they bring it up to me about different stuff like that, I just refer them back to the Bible. You know, I, I tell them I love everybody. I love everybody. But I'm not going to agree to what's not true. And one, one thing I know that's true is God created man and he pulled woman out of man. And he put those two together. When Adam seen Eve, he knew he wanted a woman. And that was the creation. That's how it was. And I know reading God's manual and blueprint for human's life, none of it ever says about dating woman on woman and man on man. When I see that stuff happening or hearing that, he was destroying cities. He was destroying people. You know, and ooh, that came out for a reason because I, that, ooh, I'm just going to talk about that on something else. But anyway, back to school. Summer, whether it's summer school or summer program or no matter what it is, 
kids need to be focused on training like us as parents we are supposed to be training up our child in the book it's a good the good news it talks about how we're supposed to train up a child the way they should go so when they get older they won't depart from it so to me right now this is i tell my kids all the time y'all are in training y'all not really gonna experience anything right now because you are in training when you get out of training then that's when everything starts and everything starts and you will be you should have enough training to be able to handle the situations or what life is going to bring you but i tell them you have to pass training in order to you know when you when the tests start coming you want to pass them so i and I always remind them that it's not me you know a lot of stuff i don't be wanting to do with them like you know as far as talking to people taking their phones after 10 o'clock you know a certain time and you know making them do different things like reading taking the time out to read taking the time out to do things they don't be want to do it you know and i don't be want to force anybody to do anything but i have to remember y'all are kids and i have to train you as a parent that is my responsibility because i had you i gotta train you that's what god told me to do i'm sorry take it up with god don't take it up with me if you got an issue go to god because he is the one set the blueprint. This is his word. And I make sure that this is not Brittany King word. This is God's word. In the Bible too, I show him that scripture where it says, spare the rod, spoil the child. This is what God said. And another one, he talked about some kids need a severe beating. <laughs> this is what God said. His other word is to tell us to discipline. If we do not discipline our children, we don't love them. I make sure I tell them, this is God's word. This ain't my word. <laughs> I didn't make this up. This is who I believe in. This is his word. This is his law, not mine. So if you got an issue, you got to go to God with it. Just like he's my father, he's your father as well. You have that right. So I make sure it's clear, <laughs> you know, because they be highly upset with a lot of stuff that I be doing with them, but I know it's needed. When I was in school, once I got introduced to a boy, it was over. It was over. My focus wasn't there. Nothing. My focus was just on a boy. And it was on a boy. And once that boy broke my heart, at least I thought it was broken because I thought he was all into me. Oh, it was over with. I really didn't care. I really didn't care because I was like, everything, my mind just was all over the place. Because I was so into a boy and not into school. And as parents, we have to be more responsible and more and really taking it serious about training up our children. If you, if you are letting your child date while they're still in school, that's out of order. Nowhere and in the word, reading the Bible, and this is for believers. This is people who believe in God, who believe in Jesus. Because you got to go through Jesus to get to God. This is for believers. So when we read in the word, and I haven't read the entire Bible, but I read the story of Samuel, David. Um, I read the beginning, how the creation was, Proverbs, and a few of that, the beginning of it. Nowhere in creation, when he created man and woman, he did not create man and woman as children where they were dating and together. Nowhere in the Bible it's got kids dating. Nowhere in the Bible it got kids. Nowhere. They talk about Samuel, his life as a child. And when they talk about Samuel, where was he? If you ain't read the story, you better go read it. Where was Samuel when he was a child? His mama wanted a child so bad she got him. After he was weaned off of the breast, he was where? In the temple the whole time. He didn't even know who God was. But he was in there with the priest in temple. He was in school. He was learning. He was training. She, she sent him back to training. And she sent him to somebody who knew what they were doing. Because she didn't know how to train. She gave him back to God. 
So right now, our kids are in training. Training. No kids, it hurts when I go up to the, it was hurt when I seen that. Because these kids, you at summer school, but you still not focused. You focus on a boy. The boy focus on a girl. You not focus on school. You not focus on learning. But that's not their fault. That's the parents' fault. Because the parents is not training the kids about you don't need to be focused on boys. You need to be focused on school. <sighs> that was the whole purpose. That was the whole point. Like, we have to do better with training. And I feel like if the parents do better with training, we wouldn't have all this crazy stuff going around. It was an 18-year-old who shot up that school. It was not a, it was an 18-year-old kid who shot up a school. I feel like when I went back in the day was going to schools, I did not hear all this stuff about shootings. Like kids was clowning, but not clowning to the point where they want to kill other kids. Like have, as parents, have you really sat down and processed that? This was not a man, this was a kid. A boy. And he shot up all those kids. All that is a lack of parenting. A lack of attention from his parents. And people can say all day, well, he had two parents, whatever he had. He had this, he had... No, the parents fell somewhere in that. And you know where they failed at? They did not put the word in him. Because when times got tough and when times got hard, he had no word to go back to. Because this tells us to train up a child the way they should go. So when they get older, they won't depart from it. When he got to the point where he was picking up guns and getting all that stuff, nowhere God was in it, obviously. God not fit to force his way in nobody's life. He not fit to force his way in nobody's life. He tells us as parents to train up your child the way they should go. If you're not doing the training, he not finna just step in and do what you supposed to be doing. You being judged on it though. You being judged on your training. Parents, you are being judged on your training that you, for your kids. Go read the word. Nowhere in the word, it has nothing about kids dating. Nowhere in the word, it has nowhere in there where kids were dating. Even Jesus, when he was young, you don't even, you don't, you barely hear stories of children. That's just how important he kept them in that training zone. Jesus, when they brought Jesus up when he was young, he, they ended up finding him in the temple. Once again, in the temple. When David came and he was ready to be anointed as a, as a kid, he was where? Out tending to sheep, working, training. So as parents, like, we have to do better with our training. You know if you're a good parent. If you are still alive and you have kids, it's no excuse. You are supposed to be training your kids. And parents whose kids are good and grown, look at how their life is going. Look at what's happening to them. That's a reflection of your training or your lack of training. Kids with, and I know for myself, I got three daughters with three different men. Lack of training. My mama had eight kids, seven different men. Lack of training lack of training lack of training lack of training we have to do better as parents and take the training seriously your kids should not be dating in school it's not healthy it's not it's not healthy it's not gonna end good and I know some people one out of a thousand come out marrying a sweetheart but i guarantee you if you sit down with those couples personally 
they gonna tell you all that, that they went through and i guarantee you they will probably put dating you know they probably will say i wouldn't been focused on dating so i'm gonna end it right there because i don't want to like keep the video too long y'all attention span is really short really really short most people won't even listen to this whole video but i pray y'all do i pray y'all get it if you do listen to the whole thing leave a blue heart that's it leave a blue heart so i can know somebody listening to it okay share it with somebody you know thank you guys for listening even if you listen to it two seconds thank you thank you thank you thank you but at least listen to it for a little minute i want you to get something out of it i pray this is for somebody i pray that it helps parents because like we gotta wake up it's too much craziness going on out here but i love y'all be great have a great day y'all are great y'all are amazing i love y'all i love y'all <laughs>